Hey you guys, I am back with another video. I know it's been a little minute, but I'm glad to get my life together. <laughs> it was school. But um, this video is something that I promised you guys, or I said I was going to do for my first video, which I'm having a little, you know, shameless plug. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be talking about my vision board. I'm gonna, I decided to ask some of my close friends and family members to make to make their own vision board. So basically, the board the boards are so beautiful. Um, I also have like a little notepad. Um, somebody wrote down their dreams in their notes, so that's pretty cool. But whatever it is, basically what I want to tell you guys is that it's recognizing, writing down, and just going and pursuing your dreams, your future. Let's get started. Hi, What's my next? name is Shay, and this is my inspiration board. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Henry, I am a mass communications major, and this so is my vision board. Life that I want to be a chemist or like a lab manager of a chemical lab, so that's why I have her. I want to become a journalist, a video maker, all of the above, and I'm working on that right now. So I'm just praying that everything works out, and I believe that if you work hard enough, you can have anything you want in life and you can achieve it. And <clears throat> I also want three kids in life, so I have three kids on my inspiration board. I want to get married, so I have a picture of a lady in a wedding gown and engagement rings. So am I Every day you're alive is your chance to make your dreams come true. And that's a quote from me, and I just believe that every second, every moment is when you need to be fulfilling your dreams. Just means that you're happy about My dad passed away last September in 2015. It forever changed my life. Um, I've had the best childhood growing up. He really was a man of God and a family man. And one thing I remember, it's funny that I'm in videography and photography, is because he always carried around his camera. So I feel like it was meant to be, and I feel like I have to honor him by allowing my dreams to come true and just following everything that every everything that he did to make sure me, my sisters, and my mom had everything we needed. I don't want his work to go in vain. Watch the throne. I believe all women are queens and you need to know your worth. My older sister taught me that and I said, know your worth and you're a queen and I put that there. And basically I love that Brooks is doing this. I think that all women should, you know, embrace each other, women empowerment. So much, so much of the time we bring each other down. It's a competition, we're all in this together, especially African American women. You know, we have to support each other in everything that we do and I think that's great. So my advice is to live out your dreams and never give up and always support others because when you can support other people and be happy for others genuinely, then God will bless you with love. And so to end this off, I'm going to show you guys my boards. All right, so here is my section about all the people that I kind of want to be like. Yeah, y'all are like, what you want to be like Muhammad Ali? Well, I'm going to be fighting. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I just want to be great. I want to be considered one of the greats one day. And so this is just kind of my motivation. And yeah, so am I Davis, I got Harry Tubman up in the feet, my angel, everybody. Um, this is a prayer. I have a lot of prayer quotes right here. I also wrote a love letter to myself. So I'd like to read that to you guys. And it basically says, the truth is, I was scared to allow myself to love you. But I know now that love of you is not selfish. It's not conceited. It's you being you. I love you, and I hope that whenever you feel unworthy, unseen, Unheard, you'll find your finest. Find yourself and find your truth. And live for nothing less. BW. And so with that being said, 
your inspiration board is supposed to represent who you are, your future, your goals. Your dreams are promises that are untold but are possible. Because I guarantee you that dream that I made in the garden is not fulfilled. It'll take it somewhere ten times further than what you ever could possibly imagine. So despite the doubt, despite the worry, it's time to believe in something bigger than yourself. It's time to believe in your dreams, in your board, on your notes, or whatever you, whatever you need to get through the day to remind yourself of why you do what you do. We got this, y'all. One step at a time. One step at a time.